。OK， 拜拜。Hello, welcome to Inner Peace Sunday, where you can <coughs> begin your new week and end your own week with inner peace. So, how are you, everyone? I hope you enjoy your inner peace time and practice meditation regularly to take care of your mind and finding yourself wherever you go with inner peace. So, allow me to greeting everyone who are joining us right now. Ah, Mr. Jack! Wow, today is the first. Well, congratulations, and you got the top fan now. Well, that's good. <laughs> so that's good. Thank you very much. Ah, Mr. Paul, you're the second, and Miss April. I know. <laughs> I forgot to turn off my mic. Yes, you can hear me speaking a little bit in the more uh, in the early, but in Thai language. <laughs> but nothing serious though. Just uh, turning turn off the mic. Ah, Miss Claudia, good to see you. Well, the fact is that. I have some good news to be announced today too. So please stay tuned. Do not leave just yet, uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Mercedes. I am sorry. I'm not sure whether you are a man or a woman, but still, thank you very much for joining us on our Inner Peace Sunday. And Mr. Shakya, good evening from Nepal. Same here. Good evening from Thailand. And uh, Miss Lily, greeting to you all. Well, Miss Lily, I must uh, th say thank you for joining our live yes, last night. I hope you enjoy our session. Well, please continue to supporting us again too. Please stay tuned for the news that I'm about to announce. And Mr. Paul, good to see you. Uh, is the Mr. Paul here yet? Ah, yes. And Mr. Shi, yes. Well, Mr. Shi, you missed it today. You're not the first. But still, thank you, Mr. Shi, for joining us. Well, we're going to have a good session. And Miss Sharon, good to see you too. Hope you enjoy your inner peace time, especially on this afternoon. Mr. Daniel, hello there. Good to see you too. Well, it seems like a lot of people have coming today. Well, the thing is that today's session is going to be quite special. I mean, not the session. I mean, uh, not the wisdom, but the announcement that is. However, before we go into that part, well, please check yourself three things before you start meditation. And if you are new, don't worry, I will introduce how to meditate. But as why we are waiting for uh, everyone who are joining us, also those who are new, well, this is our, how we do in our Inner Peace Sunday. The thing is that when we are start our program, we will share our wisdom first. And then after that, we will meditate. So this way, everyone who are joining late can also learn the wisdom, uh, I mean, can come on time, and also people who are can prayer, they can learn wisdom too without, uh, you know, before you meditate and go to bed at night or start your day on inner peace. Okay? So, what is the wisdom today? Well, I prepared to you what is called being a good friend to each other. Yes. Okay, being a good friend to each other. Well, I'm sure right now many people 
having good time, staying together with their loved one if they stay indoor, or staying, uh, spending their time on vacation. The thing about that is, this is what we do, but the meaning of the friend is it what is quite different. Because sometimes when we think of friend, they are someone who are not our spouse. But in uh, Buddhism, where I practice and where I learn, friend are not just only uh, those who are not, uh, are not uh, in our family, but friends are also our family or someone who are having kindness and like to be uh, someone who are helping us. These are called friends or friendship. The friendships are not just only spending time together or hang out together that's making people become friends. There are more to that. Friends in Buddhism, they are a person who showing them around in a way the path to heaven, the path, the path of virtue. And when you are very, very down, they are someone who bringing you up, collecting your path and finding yourself the best way or the correct, the correct way to live on the life. So these are summarized, but um, in fact, there are more than this, but this is something that in generally that can help you understand about being a good friend. The good friend in here having these five virtue quality. Number one, they listen without judging you. Yes, this is the first one because, well, right now, in fact, many people be, tend to judge other before they get to know. In fact, I just uh, having these questions that we just filming actually that we are uh, discussing earlier about uh, in the previous day about this question that how can we stop judging other? It is something that uh, we have prepared the uh, answer for that. So please stay tuned for the upcoming uh, live on good questions, good answer. Okay, but anyway, let's go back to our. Uh, uh, session. Friends don't judge each other. Why? Because they, before they judge, they already know that person and they are someone who are very, very believe in their friend. So that's therefore they become good to each other and taking care of each other. That's before they do or say anything, they already know what their friend gonna, what the friend gonna say. So that's they do not judge whether what their friends say. But if the opinion is wrong, they are someone who are going to correct their opinion. So today too, I have consultant with Miss April about our project, which I'm about to announce after this. The thing is that she is very open to me and giving me and my staff good advice. So we're gonna do that uh, as a way to improve our program. Okay, this is one way. Second. They don't pay much attention to disagreement. This is something which is common, whether you have a friend or having work with your co-worker or your boss or you are leaving your family or sometimes getting close to close to each other, say something that is not nice or something that is disagreement. The thing is that a friend, they don't pay much attention because it just go, when we have conflict or disagreement, it's only because we are having difference. But as a friend do, they don't mind. Sometimes this is happen, but they let it go and become friend. That's by being good friend together, we don't need at all to hold on to our disagreement. A good friend, agree or disagree, always happen, but still stay friend and peace, okay? Next. The thing is that friend, whenever people making a long choice or mistake, they are always worried about you. So when they are always worried about you, they are someone not just more than just friend. They could be family. This is something too. If you recall yourself the time with your parents, they are someone who are always concerned about what you do, where you go, whether you eat yet. This is something too, the friend in Buddhism, I mean that they are someone who are taking care of you. So therefore, good friend always worry about you. That's, this is why the quality of the friend, if they worry about you, make sure you taking care of good, take good care of that person, okay? Next, 
They turn your flaw into virtues. This is the good friend showed her one of the most important quality. A good friend always show them the path of virtue. Someone who are correcting your mistake, someone who willing to guide you to the right path. This is something that a good friend quality are not really having meet easily or often. Remember when we have friend, sometimes they just feel, oh, we don't want to making you feel uh, having a bad mood or anything. So sometimes they, when they know that you do something wrong, they don't tell you that you should not. But a good friend, they will tell you, hey, you don't do this. You should do this instead. This is the way to do. Mm. It is something that if you find some of a person like that, make sure you're taking care of them. And also, they keep your secret, right? Yes, a good friend keep the good secret. So therefore, even there is a saying that there is no secret in this world. At least they try to keep it as best as they can. That is still a good thing. So this is something that you have to be also cherished. And also, if you are being a good friend to them, you should also keep their secret too. Okay? So this is how you gain that trust. And last virtue that requires is no matter how bad, how difficult life is, always there for you. This is one of the quality that the friends are there. This is what a friend are for, right, everyone? So as you may see here, the quality of a good friend, it is something that cannot come easily, cannot find easily neither, but it can start with us. So therefore, everyone, you can be a good friend to others first. And then when they learn that they are, when they see, when you show them that you are a good friend to them, they will be in return. If they are a good person, they will return the same thing favor back to you too. So this is the quality, the virtue of a good friend. That one I like to emphasize at the moment for you guys as well. So, but how can we be a good friend? Everything starts from our mind. The mind that is peace, the quality of the mind of the person who is peaceful, they are bright and shine. When it's bright and shine, it will find only goodness in each other. Only then when the mind that is happy, bright and shine, it will be a quite good quality mind and allow a person to act, to think, to speak, to act good. And in the end, they will be the good friend to everyone around them. So everyone, this is why when we are practice of meditation, it is something that you need to do every day to maintain the good quality of your mind. So that way you can be happy all the time. And when you are happy, you can be the good friend to everyone, especially those around you, your spouse, your family, your parents. Okay. So this is the lesson today. So as I try to say is that meditation is very important. It is not just only the tool to help you maintain your relaxation, but it is the tool to make yourself become happy, good, and live peacefully everywhere. So that's everyone. Hopefully this lesson today can be benefit to you all. But now, what is the, the news that I, I mentioned earlier that I like to discuss? Well, first thing is, I like you to make a note on your calendar, which is our new event is coming. There are two events, but I have only one poster made at least. <laughs> the first event announcement is full moon meditation. Yes, we are going to have a full moon event on our um, live on Facebook. It's going to be on June 5th at 7 p.m. which is well uh, 7 o'clock in the morning US Central Time. For, for those who are differently you can check on your time. So it go to, it's going to be about one hour and a half earlier before Inner Peace Sunday but it's on June 5th which is going to be Friday. Yes, mark your note calendar on that day. And for those who are new to full moon, 
the full moon meditation is so spiritually. Many people, many master, many meditation coordinator arrange this event. It is only once a month. So if you like to meditate together, you can join on our Inner Peace Sunday on the full moon too. So what's the name going to be? It's not finalized. I just put it in there just in case to get you know understand about the announcement. So on the full moon here, the first Southeast, I mean, this first half of the year is already passed. It starts on the new half of the year and also change of the season too. So everyone, full moon is special. Special what? According to what I learned from my master, and I believe everyone around the world too, is that at the full moon, it has special power. Power that can make your mind fight inner peace stronger, faster, easier. It is also the practice of our abbot too, the wise abbot. He, also, he is also another master in our temple. He, it is habit now that every full moon he meditate all night. But of course, we're not going to do live all night, just only you know, an hour, of course. So everyone, on this full moon, we invite everyone to join us on this event. And also make sure you bring the candlelight. But not one though, two. Because remember, when it's full moon over here in Thailand, it is also day in another country, part of the world, like in United, in, in United States. But the fact still remains is, even though it is day and it's night in different places, but the moon is still there. So this means that even though it is not, we cannot see or visible to us in the daytime, but the moon is still there, so you can still join us, meditate together on this event, so we can kind of like celebrate on the full moon and on the sun too. Strange enough is that the master nun who create and built my temple, her name is Full Moon. And our master nickname is the sun. So this is something that's quite uh, special that can be related. I just like to relate on that too. So make sure you bring two candles, okay? Now, another announcement, which is no, um, no picture yet, still on the process. Remember I mentioned earlier about uh, the meditation wisdom online course? We are about to start that soon, so keep in touch. So if you are follow the page, you know what is going on, but um, you may not get information correctly. But if you want to, I would rec recommend everyone to like the page so you won't, you will get, and you can, uh, I'm not sure how the, 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 the system on Facebook work, but when you interact on the page, like give the comment or press like or share, it usually keeping you on your, your, your feedback on your home page. So if you want to get more information update, make sure you interact on the page too, so that, that way information won't be delayed to you. The more you become top fan, I mean, I'm not trying to get you to be a top fan, but at least you get information. So the more you interact in the page, the more the feed will be shown to you. So hopefully you're joining us and get information on there. So the more detail will be post available sometime within these two weeks. So hopefully it's there and hope, to see, hope you see that too. Okay, everyone. So before you begin, now I'm getting late. The thing is that, how you meditate? Well, first of, first of all, what we practice in here, for those who are new, we practice what is called the middle way meditation. Okay? And the middle way meditation emphasizes on two things, relaxation and mindfulness. Yes. And by practice of relaxation of mindful and mindfulness together, you have to maintain the balance, which is not to get overlaps on each other. If you have too much mindfulness, you may feel frozen or uncomfortable. Or if you are relaxed too much, you could fall asleep. Or your mind could be wandering or following your thoughts. So always maintain the balance, not to let them overlap on each other. Okay? Just like my master always say, no matter the method we use to meditate, Whichever way we practice, the principle is being comfortable and relaxed must go together. So everyone, always maintain your relaxation. Observe your comfortable feeling and eventually you will be able to maintain it quite easily. But if you have difficulty, what to do? Here's a solution. 
adjust the body and mind. If you feel still not work, now this time it's called reset. By open your eyes, adjust your body, and then close it down whenever you feel better. Okay? But when, when you feel relaxed, how you can maintain your focus? The first one is visualization. You visualize something simple, something that doesn't make you think or create emotion like the sun, a moon, a star, or the crystal ball. And if you have a lot of thoughts here, you can try mantra, a repeating words. You can use your own mantra as well. But what I use in my temple or when I guide you meditation on this session is Samma Arahang. Yes. You can use your own mantra, two words maximum, okay? That's about right. And you can use both methods by visualize and use the mantra in your mind. Or you can use either of them. Or if you feel uncomfortable to use both of them, you won't just want to use your own meditation, no problem. We are open, okay? Well, how do you know if you do it correctly? Here, my master say, receive happiness every time we meditate. Even just for the little moment, this is confirmation that we are practiced correctly. And how do you know that you ha feel happy? Well, f at the first thing is, you feel light. Second, sometimes you just feel so much happy in this case. That is already good. You are on the right track, okay? So hopefully, you are having good inner peace session with me together, everyone. So are you ready? Make sure you check yourself three things. Whether you are need to call someone. If you do, put it on silent or do it now so that way you won't feel disturbed. Second, do you need to use toilet? Do it now. You still have time. Last but not least, is your room peaceful and quiet? If it is, you are good to go. So everyone, if you say ready, leave the comment. Uh, Miss Mitchell, thank you. Mr. Kuma, good to see you. And Miss Patty. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you have a good time. Okay. Mr. Jackson from MD. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Ah, Miss Gina and Ms. Mimi. Good to see you. Pennsylvania. Wow, your first time? Hopefully, have a good session. Make sure you relax, okay? Uh, Miss Campbell. Sadu Satu. Okay. Miss Joanne. All right. Mr. Anand. Haven't seen in a while. Where have you been? you so close to our temple. <laughs> Come join often, okay, Mr. Ch uh, Mr. Anand? All right, Mr. Jack, okay, good. Miss Cordier, good. Everyone ready? For those from 21 day page, I'll check with you, I'll check in with you after meditation. Stay tuned, okay, for Q&A. All right, everyone, if you are ready, we shall now begin our inner peace time. Okay, let's begin our inner peace time. Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Making yourself feeling most comfortable during the meditation. Relax very truly beginning from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't use your eyes or try to look inside yourself during the meditation.
relax every muscles in your face down to your neck and shoulder adjusting your back and body properly free from all the tension you might have relax both of your arms down to the tips of your hands relax your abdomen allowing yourself breathe in and breathe out easily continue further down to your legs your knees and all the way to your feet completely making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation spend a few moments adjusting yourself when you are done Let's move on to adjust your mind. Empty your mind, putting down everything aside for this moment. The time for yourself. The time for your mind and the time for the meditation begin by take a deep breath slowly breathe think it out Clear all your thoughts, empty your mind while you breathing out. Fill your mind with joy and happiness while you breathe in. Imagine that you are alone in this place a place that you like to be by yourself without anyone to disturb or bother you a place of your own like in the forest near the waterfall make you feel nice relaxed and comfortable by just sitting there or alone when you feel comfortable 
feeling like your whole body is empty, light, like an empty container, nothing inside. You could float or fly in the air. And allow your mind moving back to your body slowly, gently. Allow your mind slowly and gently rest inside yourself around your abdomen or anywhere that you feel right to rest inside yourself and begin to observe your mind from there. Maintain your focus inside yourself while relax at the same time. So lightly imagine, imagine the sun shine inside yourself at the place where you rest your mind within the body. Observe the mind through your feeling. Observe the sun peacefully. Should the thought arise Don't worry, let it go and let it end without following your thoughts. Or you may repeat the mantra in your mind at your own pace. And the mantra is Sama Arahang Sama Arahang Sama Arahang Continue the mantra I observe the sun Enjoy your peace and relaxation for a little while until the appropriate time.
Your body and mind are balanced with one another. Let the enjoyment and peacefulness fill your mind. You can open your mind to all beings and learn to love more openly, freely, beginning with loving kindness for yourself, and then loving kindness for others. You become more open, relaxed, and balanced, radiating this loving kindness from the center out to everyone in the room, to your families and friends to all the people in the whole building, in the whole city, in the whole country, and the whole world, sharing loving kindness with them all a feeling for them to be happier. The mind full of loving kindness will discover the way to work with others meaningfully, gently, happily resolving whatever problems may arise, sharing loving kindness with them all for a few moments.
deep breath. Slowly breathing out. Fill your mind with joys and happiness. Maintain your awareness, your mindfulness, and the relaxation as long as you can. Enjoy the peace that arises in your meditation. Maintain the relaxation and mindfulness after the meditation to continue your inner peace everywhere you go. The mind that is joy will maintain its peace, letting your mind be with joy on and on. Then slowly, gently, Open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? Please stay with me. If you are meditating, don't leave just yet for Q&A. So please allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are new, you may leave the comment as follow. For those who are regular, you may go ahead and leave your comment. If you are feeling relaxed, leave the comment as one. For those who experience feeling like your whole body disappear, light, like you could float, even for just a few moments, leave the comment as two. For those who experience brightness in your meditation, leave the comment as three. Anything else, leave the comment as four. Explain. When I see your comment, I'll get back. Let's see. Uh, allow me to greet those from 21 day page. Miss Salam, thank you very much for joining from 21 day. Miss Anne, good to see you. Hopefully, Florida is warm now. So you can enjoy the beach, but be careful too, okay? Put on the mask and wash your hands often. Miss Grace from New York, 10 in the morning. That's a good time, close to breakfast, I uh, know, close to lunch. So, well, you can get yourself a good inner peace before you have your lunch. Miss Diane and Miss Melissa, Sharon and Grace, first time here, welcome to inner peace. Miss Mercedes, Mr. Mercedes, and Catherine, one and two. One and two, okay, that's good. Hmm. Anyone else from the main page? Mr. Chi, one. Miss Cordia, two. Oh, something wrong, Miss Cordia. You usually have number three and two, but well, if you relax, that's, that's, that's what's count. Mr. Anand, three, that's good. Mr. Jackson, oh, make here, three. Oh, that's good. Your first time? Well, you did right, though. Hopefully, you maintain your relaxation. Okay. Mr. Uh, Shaka, two. Ralea, two. Patti, very peaceful. There you is. You're coming back to your form now. That's good, Miss Patti. Mimi, three. All right. Emma, two and three. Okay. Mr. Paul, two nice monkey mind. Hmm. What have you done before you come to meditate, Mr. Paul? You have monkey mind? Wouldn't leave alone feeling run down today. Well, Mr. Paul. The best way to, you to do that, maybe you should stretch yourself, exercise, take a shower before you come. That could help. It's just a suggestion. Try that, okay? Mr. Ekasit 1, mm, that's good. Even though it's quite hot in there, 
But anyway, hope you are doing good, Mr. Ekasit and uh, Miss Lily. All right. Hello, very light and brightness. All right, Miss Grace, that's very good. All right. Hmm. For our meditation, the essence is relaxation and mindfulness. It's a foundation. And last week, I remind you that five things you need to have before you begin. Your willingness to meditate. Second, your relaxation. Third, your mindfulness. Fourth, your consistency. And last is observation. These are the five elements that can help you progress in meditation. But the thing that most people fa fail to do, in, including myself too sometimes, I'm not perfect yet and I'm not the master, but I can just at least giving you a tip. So you can, I'm, I'm not sure I'm qualified to be teacher, but at least I could be instructor to give you a little bit tip and how to do that, okay? What I like to give you another opinion on your meditation is, well, make sure one thing when you are practice meditation. The thing about meditation is, most people fail to do is they be expect. If you are new, that's good because you don't have expectation. You just follow the guidance. But when you meditate more often, you begin to experience something. This is when it's fell. Oh, I should have the same feeling like last time. This is the thing that kind of fail everyone. When you are having expectation, be careful on that. So what to be done when you are practiced like this? What you need to do is, well, when you start meditate, remember, recall how you get there. And that should solve the matter of expectation. Because when you know how you get there, whenever you practice meditation again, you don't have expectation. You just want to try to get back to there and how you did that. So this, you have to learn how to observe and things like this. But all in all, to help you improve this course, uh, this progress, don't worry. We have now, I have formed the team luckily to help me enough for our special course but this is not meditation course alone, but it's provided how you should live your daily life to help you integrate meditation and live yourself to maintain the peacefulness in your mind. So this way, you can have a good meditation together because when you just learn meditation, it's all about meditation. But you know our life, not just only meditation. There are something else. So when there's something else, what is it? Find out on our course. I don't know the name yet because we have to agree with my team first. But hopefully you are there to join me too. Ah, there is someone else before we part today. New here, I live and absolutely love this. We love, okay. Well, please come, Miss Jasmine. I like your name though. The Jasmine is a good uh, flower in Thailand. It's very nice and also good for making tea. It tastes very nice too and smell too, okay? So I like your name actually. Anyway. Now let's see. We sit love one past. Okay. Okay. Well, when you have a loved one, okay, everyone, this is something too that you can I would call transcendent love that transcendent across the realm, uh, across the dimension, I would call that. Someone asked me a long time ago, I think it's hopefully she don't mind, I recall her name. I think I remember her name correctly. Her name is Miss Diane from Malaysia. I don't think she's here today, but she po hopefully she's catching up on the recall of the video. What she's asking is, she miss her father very much. What should she do? Mm. In the way of the Buddhist, you can try this, but you don't have to be Buddhist, okay? What I'm trying to say is that I advise her this. Well, in the Buddhist way, how you send your love to loved one, normally one would do is, meditate first. When you meditate, you enjoy relaxation, that's good enough. Or if you feel even more stillness, brightness. When you feel joy that arises from this, when you're feeling good about it, that's what I'm trying to say. Imagine your loved one, the deceased or the present, either way is fine. 
you feeling them? Do you feeling? Imagine them in your mind, sharing your love and kindness. The feeling that you have good in your meditation, you can share this to them. And to the practice is, it believe that this feeling eventually transcend and go to them. So you can share your happiness with them too. So everyone, I hope you. Enjoy inner peace session with me, and see you again next time. Oh, before we part today, for those who are new, for those who are regular, here there will be. I will try to do everything in Zoom later on, so we still practice this. Hopefully, we don't get sabotaged by a hacker. Last time we did, and it wasn't very good. <laughs> But still, if this happened, uh, I have to force myself shutting it down, and we can't redo this Zoom that again. But either way, doing Zoom is. Even better to help you allow to send your comment and interact more better in this way, and also if you are new, there will be another program called Inner Peace Wednesday. It is in U.S. time, which is gonna be morning in Thailand time. So uh, it will be about uh, at 30 at night in Central Time. So please join me too if you live in the U.S. But if you live in uh, In Asian or in the other part of the con of the world, you can also join on Thursday morning, at 30 in the morning Thailand time. So this is designed to help you Q and A when you practice further. You have question, you can ask Q and A, interact on this part. But in the peace Sunday, you can learn some lesson how to improve your meditation tip. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do in our in the peace Sunday and in the peace Wednesday. But all in all. If you have questions generally like uh, daily life, good Q and A. Follow me on our page every Sunday and uh, every Saturday. So thank you very much for joining. See you again next time, everyone. And also good day for 21 day page. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.